Hi, today we're doing Grandma's Southern Green Beans. This uh, recipe was passed down from Grandma to Grandma. And uh, as all grandmas do, they don't measure. They measure with their heart. So this is my approximation of what was done or their recipe. So green beans, half an onion, two garlic cloves, uh, some mushrooms. And this is probably... Uh, about a cup of mushrooms that I coarsely chopped, four slices of bacon, we'll use water and a little bouillon cube chicken to flavor, and also to add flavor, half a can of uh, diced tomatoes. So the idea is that the green beans will cook for a long time and they'll soften and all the uh, flavors from the bacon, mushrooms, garlic, and the other vegetables uh, bouillon cube will cook into the green beans to make it tasty and delicious. All right, the first step of the recipe is to uh, render the bacon and cook it till it's nice and crispy. And we'll reserve the fat and use it for cooking the onion, garlic, and mushrooms. All right, I'm cooking the bacon over medium heat until it gets nice and brown. Flipping on occasion, make sure it really doesn't burn. All right, bacon's been cooking about four minutes. It's uh, nice and crispy. I'm gonna take it out, and next thing is I'm gonna saute the onions and mushrooms and the garlic. Save this for later and crumble it up to add as a topper to the bacon. Add a little salt. And then a bunch of pepper. And just soft cook to soften and slightly brown. You can see on the bottom of the pan has the nice bacon fond. We'll take care of that in a second when we add the liquid. All right, the uh, onion mushroom garlic has been cooking about uh, two minutes, just enough to uh, drive out a lot of the moisture, soften the mushrooms. Mushrooms will act as a uh, flavor sponges once you drive out the mushrooms and the onions are a little translucent. And next I'm going to add the green beans. You could use uh, canned green beans or frozen, which I'm doing here. And basically right now I'm just going to add the uh, liquid. You're going to add enough liquid to cover the green beans. and then I'll throw in the bouillon cube. So basically with the chicken bouillon, we're not, we're just half water, half chicken bouillon. And the idea is not to make it taste very chickeny, but you're adding flavor from the chicken bouillon. Next, we're gonna add also about half a can of this uh, diced tomatoes. Just eyeball it. Uh, a little more. Whoops, that's probably more than enough. That's good. So basically we're going to cover and let this simmer for probably an hour and a half. So basically what you're doing is you're driving out all the uh, moisture from these green beans and replacing it with flavor from the onions, garlic, broth, and bacon. So slow cook it. Simmer. Hour and a half. All right, here's uh, Grandma's Southern Green Beans cooking for about an hour and a half on low, just simmering slowly. A lot of that liquid is cooked out. I'll uh, give it a final taste and see how much salt and pepper I need. Probably no more pepper, but uh, let's give it a quick taste.
I think the salt level's good. I'll add more pepper. And you could move it to the plate. Here's the bacon and then just sprinkle on top. Oh, the bacon kind of cl uh, clumped together. All right, here's the bacon. I've uh, cooked it crispy and then uh, crumbled it. Uh, you could add it now or just when you right before you serve, but we're pretty much going to serve out of the uh, bowl. So everything's done and ready to go. Merry Christmas. Here's our Christmas dinner. Uh, Nana's uh, standing rib roast recipe and Grandma's southern green beans. Again, you could slice the rib roast as uh, large or thin as you like. Some people like it thin. Some people like it thicker. And uh, to me, as long as there's rib roast, I'm happy. Also, the green beans are uh, delicious. I've tried some, but uh, here they are. Here's a slice of the rib roast. It's going to be a big bite, but uh, look at that. The gravy is uh, pretty good for xanthan gum. Mm. Delicious. Merry Christmas.